Happy New Year's, everybody. It's a new year. It's 2017, and this is going to be a, the first fan vlog of 2017. And that's basically literally going to be the title of this video. So, um, yeah. Um, as you guys already know, I've revealed two of the fans that I've been holding off since last year in December. The new tone, Hug the Ceiling, and the Harvey Springfield. And I still have another 10 fans to reveal to you guys. I thought there was 11 in total, but I miscounted there was actually 12 fans. When I did the original first fan vlog of this year, this is technically the second one, but something went wrong with that video, so I'm just redoing it. Well, remaking it. So, um, yeah. So there's actually 10 more fans I need to reveal to you guys. Some of them might still take a little bit of time for me to reveal, because I can't find the blade arms for them, I can't find the blades for them, or so, they're missing a, a globe. So it make, so I just, I just want them to be complete when I show them on video, as complete as possible. So, um, yeah. Now, these fans that I have installed might, I'm not saying that they won't change for this year because this year is going to be a year full of surprises on this channel. I'm going to be surprising you guys a lot more. I'm not going to tell you if I'm planning to install for the fan or not. So, I want to keep that more secret as this year. Although, in the next, I already did read this for I already am, am testing a fan right now. It has been pre recorded a bit. Oh, Two videos of it out of the six. So, um, yeah, that's all I'm gonna give for hints. The other fans are in reverse. I like to keep this side of the house warm because this side of the house gets colder a lot easier than my bedroom because there's a lot more windows here. Also, there's only one here right there, or radiator. At the old place, there's a radiator in the living room as well. That's from it gets pretty cold very easily due to the basically the whole entire bathroom being tiles so um yeah and also the floor being marvelous tiles so this bathroom definitely does get pretty cold usually the coldest room in the house so that's why i have this fan on reverse whenever i'm in here but i just have it on reverse for the um video well actually just have it on for the video the the passport too has been used very often um, I actually it's basically on almost all day, like in the morning until we, I go to sleep. I'm, I'm just going to shut it off just to show you guys, for example, how much it's been used. This one gets used quite a bit as well. I keep these two on, but usually, it's usually the passport too that's on more often. I'm just off the light. That is something I do love well about the LEDs, is when you turn them on. So when you shut them off, the little thing. Like, they, like, shut off slowly, I feel like that pretty pretty cool but um this one's getting a ton of dust already let's so you guys can see hey it's just been on low all this time so it's starting to get even more dust than it did when we had it on forward over the past six months although when we were using it on downdraft all, the all this time um it wasn't used as much but now it's being used even more I'm using it more because I'm trying to, the birds in here, try, I try to, I have it on it so they stay warm. And for those who want to see them, here they are. I know some of you guys are a big fan of them. The noisy one is the one that's on the stick. I was trying to see because he, his feet are a little bit darker than his, the ones in this cage. Which is why he's noisy, but he responds to the ones over here a while and swings a bit crooked a bit. I'll fix, let's fix it now. I could put a swing that I can hold both two of them at a time, but um, then they'll start fighting, so I just have, have it so they can, there's only one, only, they can have to take turns, basically. But they love to fight, that's the only thing these dogs like to do. And also, I don't think you guys knew, I don't know if I did a reveal that this fan has LED light bulbs, so I actually showed, I, I did, we've seen some four testing videos last year, that I had the LED light bulbs, but um, just to show you how well um, the lighting's up the room, you can see it's pretty dark right now. Only having this lamp on right now. And the lamp from the beta fish tank, which I did get two new ones. It lights up the room very well. <clears throat> um, and it is a pretty big room, as you guys can tell. So, um, yeah, it's 
with the dark walls, I definitely needed these bright white light bulbs. I usually like to have it dimmer lights for, at night time, but um, this room's so dark, I kind of do need it, so I don't remind it. Also, I also have this little lamp thing here. I also have this connected, only connected at nighttime when I use it, so I just turn on that light at night. And I had a Fanimation learning control drilled into the bed, which I'm not going to show because my bed's a mess. Because I'm moving more stuff around, moving stuff downstairs to make space for for the fans I got recently. So um, yeah, I'm going to go into the closet over here. As you can see, this is getting even more filled up just by one more box, which is the house Petite's box. Yes, it's back in its box. The only thing that's not in there is the globe since that's um being used on the bathroom dressing room in the bathroom currently <laughs> but i kind of plan to keep a photo globe in there just so it doesn't break because mushroom globes they don't i don't feel like they sell them that much separately i feel like they usually just when you get it it's because they come with the fan so um yeah but um, it's getting pretty crowded up there i could probably fit up another fan but it's, it would probably be, wouldn't be the best idea um i do have the low profile bet right behind it the white one so that's that's only in front of it because that's only spot it would fit and my room's already getting a bit filled up i actually just started to clear out a bit more so um yeah the fan as you guys can tell some of these boxes um are a little bit beat up so i'm well not beat up but um what i'm going to say is um they're taking up a lot of space so i'm going to have to start moving some of them downstairs the ones on this side i'm keeping up here it's mostly the boxes on this side when they start moving down there because these are the boxes that are a lot bigger. I might just start having to put like those two, the um, the Dynasty and the Nova 5. I might decide to put sideways, maybe, so that they can take, they take up more space. I'm probably going to start doing that. But um, this is definitely going to go downstairs. I'm going to wrap it up well so it doesn't get, the box doesn't get more damaged than what it is in the corners and stuff. Um, the Glendale might, I'm probably going to keep up here only because it's a newer fan, it's a newer box, so it draws more attention. But it's an older one like this, people aren't going to really care that much. Since we do have workers, who, people who like check the meters downstairs and stuff. I am going to be covering them up, but since the box is in such gate, good shape, I just don't want it to get messed up. I mean, the Laguna is not going down there without a doubt, so um, yeah. Still no fan in, that's pro probably not going to change. So my mom would just not allow me to put a fan in here. I personally would, but um, at the same time, I feel like it would be a point within itself. It would never get used. It would only just be for looks, honestly. And I'm back here. Let me just put this back on. The room gets cold quicker, just by shutting it off for a little bit. Might that's why I have both of them on, because it's a bigger room. So, um, yeah. So, speaking of running out of room in the fan closet, the shelf downstairs is starting to get a little bit filled up. It's not 100% used up, but I'm um, knowing the amount of fans I'm going to possibly be getting this year. This has led to me to, to make a decision that I'm going to have to start parting ways with some fans. It's not a bad thing. I feel like I, it's better than me throwing them out, which I just never do, unless it's... I just, like, part this part out. A fan if I can't use it no more if it's beyond repair. But um, yeah, I'm gonna start parting part away to some of my fans. Very, it's very likely it's gonna happen. So um, it's not gonna be the ones that are very sentimental to me or the ones that I like a lot. But um, if anybody has any um, if you guys want to buy a certain fan for me, I'll, I'm not gonna be selling them for much. I just, I'm just trying to clear space. I'll probably just, some of them might just even charge shipping honestly to be. So, um, I might just do like 15 plus shipping for, for most of them and that's it. I'm not looking to make a, a whole lot. I'm just trying to get rid of some of them. But, um, I can tell you this much. That the ones in the closet are definitely not for sale. All of these. And the original in the corner. The next, the fan next to the original is, um, the industry I bought, I, um, brought back from the DR. That one I'm not, is only in there because I don't want it to get scratched up on the floor. So I have it hanging on the hook. Kitty kid, I got that I'm sending to JD Edison. Shut up the light in there. But um yeah, I do have a fan to test tonight. 
it's going to take quite a decent amount of videos. I actually didn't think I'd be able to afford to have to sell that. It's going to be, it's definitely a, a fan I know you guys are going to enjoy, so I can, I'll tell you that much. So, um, yeah, that'll be um, it for this video, I think. I'm trying to think of anything I don't want to talk about, but, um, um, what is it? Um, I feel like there was something else, but I just don't remember. But, um, yeah, I guess all I can say is just expect any, don't expect certain brands to be on this channel, only like Hunters and Hampton Bays or Casablanca's. Because this year I'm going to try to push my boundaries and explore different brands and try to reach out to people who like other brands as well. Because we are, it's pretty obvious. A lot of people in this in the fan community are really obsessed with Casablanca. I want to say obsessed, but they won't. There's many of them who focus on mostly kinds of manga. I've kind of, and I do like kinds of manga, but I don't. In a way, I've kind of done the same thing with hunter fans. I focus mostly on hunters, well, mostly fans from my childhood, which is something I do is because I really focus on my childhood fans because I've wanted them so badly since, ever since I was a kid. So I'm just trying to get as many of the childhood fans that, that I've wanted since I was a kid while well, I still can, since they're still most of them are still pretty common. So um, if if some of those fans aren't any aren't interested in to you, and it doesn't make you want to watch the channel, I I mean that's why I'm trying to expo expand my like, horizons. And some people say, oh, try new kinds of manga and hunt originals, fast goes, and new to bring you up. And those are the best quality fans. Not everybody's into the best quality fans. And that's some something that a lot of fan collectors don't. Some fan collectors don't really take into consideration because a lot of them might have not grown up grown up around better quality fans because they might have lived in areas that a lot of people didn't have money to buy certain fans, including myself. I never grew up with the best quality fans. I grew up with Hampton Bay fans. Always going to Home Depot and such. The only, only reason why Hunters are um, sentimental because I saw them a lot in, in the area since they, have to, they actually sold these ton of fans and such at Home Depot. And so, um, yeah, that's why I try to... This is kind of like a way... It's my way of... Um, like, he went my childhood memories of, of the fans that I wanted as a kid and finally getting them. So, and that's kind of what I want, want to make this channel about this year. And one is, more thing is make this channel full of surprises and also have videos of fans that maybe people have memories of them but they haven't seen a video or a picture of it in a, in a while and it brings back all, all the memories. That's that's what happened with, with um, that's what I try to do with this one right here, the brush steel one, but since it still needs a new cap, I can't do that yet. This one I brought back some amazing for some people, the neon one. So, um, yeah. And that's what I'm going to try to do. It's trying to do videos that aren't just all people just like fan, but trying to, like, reach out for, it's kind of like a way to, like, relive some childhood memories for many people. And that's what I've always done with my videos, to try to make it very sentimental for people, like, who some like the hand to make Carol stuff when I first did a video of it. I remember, I think it was the first time they ever, there was ever a video of it on YouTube back when I did a video of it four years ago. I'm not 100% sure because it's been a while, but I remember a ton of people were telling me, wow, I haven't seen one of these in years and stuff. Like, and they remember that they used to have one in their bedroom and stuff. And that's why I've always wanted to make this channel about hearing stories about people and the fans they've had in the past. But just focusing on certain fans kind of makes it hard for people to like tell the stories if you focus on fans that they probably didn't have. So that's why I'm going to be experimenting with other fans that I don't even know but maybe I never had interest with maybe just getting them just to do videos of and then just part ways to them I actually might be starting doing that but um yeah that, so that'll probably be it for this video again I'm very lucky going to be selling maybe like 10 15 fans at most some of them I probably don't want to part with but, it's, but I know it, I might even be selling a, a few of the kinds of Blancas to be honest maybe the antique brass one maybe that's a huge maybe but just to give you an idea, some of the more common fans I have in my collection I'm probably going to be selling since they're pretty common. But um, the white one I'm not selling, the, or the white and brass one since those are the first two I got. Or well, those are the, or the white and brass one's the first one I got, first class of August, so um, yeah. But um, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for more videos to come. And, this, and trust me, there's going to be a ton of videos this year. So I think this year might be the year that has the most videos recorded because I remember back when I first started there was a ton of videos I recorded and I haven't been doing too much of my just doing my home this year I'm going to try to make the channel loaded with a ton of videos so you guys can see as many videos as you want not just a couple of days a week I'm going to try to do like maybe three times a week upload videos or four times a week try to record videos of fans every most of the time of the week so that's something I'm going to try to do this year this is going to be a great year for this channel I can tell you that much there's going to be plenty of things that this channel has never seen before 
So um, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching.